So today's workout is my chair toning workout. Now what is important, make sure you have a good sturdy chair and make sure you have it on a surface where it's not on a slip. It's a good idea to have it by the wall. And what also is really important, just make sure you have warmed up first. Just do a minute or so marching on the spot and then let's get toning on your chair. So the first move you can see we've got coming up here. So you want to be leaning into your chair. That's where it's important. Do have it by wall somewhere it's not going to slip. And then we're going to just be working the inner and outer thighs. So push your hips forward and just step one leg out. And what I want you to do, we're just doing 20 reps. The further you're leaning into the chair, the harder this is. So this is just working what we call a lateral movement. We're just taking that leg out to the side. Focus on keeping those tummy muscles pulled in. We're also working through the arms slightly as well because they're helping support you in this position. Okay, that's good. So we're just doing that. those 20 reps. Well done. And really make sure you take that leg out as far to the side as you can. Okay, so you can see here the next move coming up. So I need you to come down onto the ground and place your feet on the top of the chair. So you're going to have your knees bent. All right, let's come into position. Let's go for 20 reps. So what we're doing here now, we're working into the waist muscles as you're taking your arms around and your hands to reach the outside of the chair. By having the legs up, what this means is it's isolating your oblique muscles because we're keeping the hips still, so we're working the top attachment of the obliques, which means we're gonna really work into the waist. We're just doing 20 reps. So your next move, we're gonna stay in that same position, but this time now, we're gonna push the hips up. So we're just gonna go for doing a bridge. So have your palms facing out or facing down. And we're just gonna go for 20 reps. Pushing that up nice and high. Push it up and back. So really aim to get your hips up as high as you can for me. You're also gonna feel this through your hamstrings and through the bottom. If you find it too hard on the chair, you could actually just have your feet on the ground. That's it, just push it up and back, pushing it up and back down. By having the chair just means then you've got a fuller range of motion that you're pushing it up through and back. Well done, that's good, aiming for 20. So this one here is all about toning through the bottom. So it's as simple as that. We are just gonna do that whole routine once more. So today's workout is all just about toning. So we're gonna come into that leaning position in the chair. Remember, the further you lean into it, the more challenging this is. All right, let's get ready. We're gonna go for 20 reps. So take that foot out from one side and really aim to get that leg as far out to the side as you can. So what you're doing here, we're working through the hip, so we're working through those um, outside and inside of your thigh muscles, doing that lateral move. Again, still keep the tummy tight. That's good. And coming back. So we're just doing those 20 reps and that round. And again, with this one, really think about where we're working. So we're working through the outside of the thighs. All right, you're going to come back down onto the ground for me now. And we're going to go for doing those waist exercises. So you've got the knees bent and feet are up on the chair. Let's go for doing 20 reps. So with today's workout, it's not going to get you hot and sweaty. This is different because we're alternating from doing your calorie burner one day to then the next day doing the chair workout. And what I want to do with these, keep them really simple progressively throughout the challenge in September. These are going to get harder. So we're starting off fairly easy-ish today because the next move is actually quite hard doing that bridge one. All right, so we're going to get ready now to push up through the heels and then you're going to lift the hips up as high as you can. You're doing 20 reps. So with this one, if you do find it too hard on the chair, then simply just place your feet on the ground so you've got your knees bent and then you can just drive the hips up. That's it. So you're pushing it up as high as you can. But the benefit of today's workout is not only are we sculpting and toning your body, but the more toned your body is, then naturally the more calories you're going to be burning. All right, that's good. Coming up and back down. So we're just doing 20 reps. And it's like with any of these routines, if you get to the end of it, the end of the video, and you feel challenged, fantastic. If you want to, you can always just rewind and do it again till you do feel challenged. Okay, and let's just go for the last couple. Amazing. Okay, so that is your workout complete. Now, what is really important, um, don't forget 
to stretch. What I will do is I will leave a link in the description box below which will take you to one of my cool down stretching videos and then if you can hashtag to let me know you've done it hashtag um, Lucy's squad, uh, Lucy's challenge and then also what would be amazing if you guys can help me and help share the chair. So just hit that Facebook share button and um, I will see you tomorrow for another workout. So tomorrow we are back to doing a cardio four minute workout and remember we are alternating between doing toning and calorie burning and we're working in lots of different directions and don't forget take those before photos for me and those measurements because you're going to get some amazing results very soon.